Fresh off testing the excellent new alpha of Dune Legacy, I discovered that War 1 Gus was still being developed and decided to try the latest release. Much like Legacy, the War Gus project looks to provide a new engine for classic Blizzard RTS games using the Strategus RTS engine, which was originally developed solely for that task but branched out into becoming a more general purpose engine for people to create games in. I played the entirety of Warcraft 2 in Strategus some time ago and it largely worked, with a few technical caveats. It didn't play exactly like the original, but was as close to a widescreen remaster as you're ever likely going to get. War 1 Gus is the version of that for the original Warcraft, and it's clear that it's still a long way off. Like most source ports, you need the original game code in order to play, and Wargus uses a command line script to convert the assets. This has never worked for me first time round, and this time it took me two attempts to install the program on both a Linux and Windows machine. Instead of bad mouthing the project, like many controversy merchants on YouTube would, I'll instead explain my issues and offer a few solutions. The game starts windowed, which is okay, but it also implements a CRT style shader by default that you need to turn off. The preferences screen is limited compared to Wargus, and non-persistent between launches of the program. There's also some full screen problems as well. And the video resolution can't seem to manage full widescreen for some reason, with the options menu ending up going off the screen if you turn it up too high. Better resolution support and the video drop down box being centered would help. Music wise, I think keeping the intro theme alone as the menu intro would be a good idea, instead of a jukebox mix of tracks, but I'll come back to that. Also, there are far better free sound fonts out there than Tim GM6MB, a tiny timidity sound font built to save space by Tim Breckbill, which is not really designed for the task at hand here. Skirmish is above campaign, despite the original Warcraft not having Skirmish, and almost exclusively played for its campaign. When clicking a campaign, the initial button to start the campaign isn't centred, but hanging off the title. That's very ugly and needs to be centred too, but it's only a minor issue. After entering the game, by default a Strategus overlay is plonked over the gameplay elements and the menu button is ugly and gets warped into even worse states at different resolutions. The order lines when telling units what to do were also a striking visual difference between War 1 Gus and the original, and should be turned off by default. Speaking of defaults, the default game speed is too slow, and unfortunately one of the biggest problems is that the animations look even worse than the original for some inexplicable reason. Here's a direct comparison between me playing Warcraft running on DOSBox and War 1 Gus. What also frustrated me while playing War 1 Gus is that the human music came on in the middle of the Orc campaign. That's not right, the grunts would have your head for that mistake. While this all might sound a little harsh, War 1 Gus is not a new project. It's been in development for 10 years now, and a game as historically important as Warcraft deserves better from the community, especially since the conglomerate monstrosity that owns the Blizzard name have stated outright that they have no plans to update it. Hopefully in the years to come the right people will stumble across this video and say hey he's got a point there, we should make these changes or a more enterprising individual will come along and restore Warcraft in the same way that Dune 2 has. In the meantime, me and the handful of RTS fans that still exist will be waiting patiently.